be that one kid. Like so kids are so, some kids are so big. Yeah. Well, I think you want to be that one guy that no one can bring down. I mean, you can bring down any big guy. Yeah, I agree. Oh, for sure. But that's what they need to teach. Kids. Age when they don't know how. That's why. If he, if he knows how to. He doesn't know how. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He's like now. How do you know? He's going to be. I can train up for 150 a month. I think he needs to be high school. 150 a month. I can relate to this guy. Which is I wouldn't necessarily oppose like having a, having somebody coach him to teach him that stuff. I really wouldn't because he doesn't get it in practice. He just doesn't. I guess they're too busy. I stay out of the way. I don't say a word of crash. She's not going to pay. Yeah. So I'm ready. Y'all ready? Everybody ready? Yes, sir. Let's do Where's everybody here? All right. All right. So we're going to try something different. We're going to record it. Huh? We're going to record it and we're going to play it back. So, um, so we can maybe get a better look at things. Maybe we'll see. All right. So, um, that's all. all right. So, um, I'm ready when y'all are. Ready? Yep. All, All right. Y'all ready? You are dispatched to a uh, 60 year old woman at the county fair um, who uh, claimed a chest pain. Go. Uh, let me get a transport unit started. Uh, control. Yeah, call neck control. Call uh, neck control. Is she able to speak to me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, man, what's going on today? Chest hurts. Okay. Uh, what? This is really weird. Chest pain? Okay. Uh, so. Um, how does her skin look? Uh, skin is pale and diaphoretic. And I find her just sitting, sitting down, trying to find her tripod. Okay. What is it? 64. 18 times 4. 72. No, 18 times 4. What's the glucose? Glucose is 62. Uh, heart rate 54. What? 72 is our pulse rate. 72. Central green. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are the lung sounds? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. What are they? Slow down. It's okay. Slow down. You slap back. So we put oxygen on her at 15 meters a minute. Is there a pulse on her? I got on. So we use it. Uh, do you have any allergies? Yeah. What are your allergies? Aspirin. Okay. Uh, is this a, do you have a history of asthma? Or what's going on? No. Okay. So this is the first time thing for you? I don't know. You don't know? Uh, uh, allergy to asthma. You know, aspirin. aspirin. Do her lung sounds uh, kind of improve with the oxygen for the so easy? I'll check. I'll check them for you. Do you just put a pulse ox on you? No. Uh, what's the pulse ox? You good? We don't have one in her bag. Still then you don't get a pulse ox. Then you don't? Okay. <laughs> and she's still wheezing. She's still wheezing. Okay. Uh, 
Someone called 911 because you're having trouble breathing at the state fair. I can't Someone said you're having trouble. 
Are you are you here to help? What? Are you here to help? Yeah, I'm here to help. Are you are you having is it easier to read now with this oxygen that we have need? In what? I can I'm a girl, but I'm anxious. I'm anxious? Okay. Um, it's part of it's part of the medication. The medication. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Okay. Take it off. Get her Let's try her on this one. Okay. I she's okay with this. We'll keep it easier. Hey man, we're gonna try a different way to give you this medication. Okay. 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 I'm gonna check the lungs real quick. I check your lungs. Okay. So, ma'am, can you hold this? Is she able to hold this? So, just breathe in normally, like this. Take some. Try to take some deep breath. Still wheezing on both sides. Are you okay? You doing all right? I, I can understand. Yeah, we can understand you with this two speakers. Now sit down. Yeah, sit yeah, down we for want the time you. Being. No, 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 I know, but it's not going to let can you feel can, better. Can you stay sit down? I think I'm going to die. You're going to be okay. I think I'm going to die. We don't want to stop it. We need to stay seated. You're going to be okay, man. You don't need to stand up. I'm not going to stand up. Please, please. Yeah, please, 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 please. Yeah, is there anyone else around here? Please. Sal, Rain, and Sean. She's very sad. No, okay. I'll, I'll make you this deal. If your lungs sound better, I'll let you stand up after five minutes, okay? <laughs> All right, relax, relax. Uh, um, do, do you know where you are, man? I'm getting I'm on you know, you know where you are. Okay. <laughs> what? Do you know what year it is? Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's my Hey, yellow car. Yellow car, go ahead with the yellow car. She oriented and she might want to try to She didn't say she would be She just said she had Okay. You're right. If she wants to get up, she can stand. They're just asking her to stay seated. Yeah. I don't think she ever responded to my proposal. She said no. Okay. I don't know. 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 And I'm gonna get some snow. Your this Ma'am, I'm gonna check your blood pressure again. Blood pressure is two ten over one forty. Two ten. Two ten over one forty. Oh, she has chest pain. Oh, beautiful. Ma'am, how's your how's your chest pain doing? Is it improved? Okay. Blood pressure is fine. Two ten. Your what? Heart pain. Short pain. I think it's. Blood pressure currently. Oh, it did. 
So, man, we're going to try something else besides that bureau. We're going to try to take care of that chest pain for you. What? We're going to take care of your chest pain for you. We're going to try a different thing. What's the dude, I can't, I, dude, I can't. It just mumbles me up too. this. Find yourself. I'm going to hold this in front of your face, okay? How you doing? Give her some oxygen. So, yeah, we're going to do some regular oxygen now. Are you coughing or laughing? All right, we can go ahead with 1,000 milliliters of uh, normal saline, 25 milligrams, All right, so here's what we're going to do. We see that you're feeling sick, and we're going to give you some meds, okay? There's going to be a little stick in your arm, okay? So we're going to do that to help you make that meds. She did with the D51, that's going to take care of it. So... Nitroglycerin 0.4. This old lady at the state fair on the kickstand. Um, you got cleared for nitro? Yeah, yeah, we got cleared for nitro. Right? Got for nitro. Uh, um, so then this is going to help you. It's going to help take care of that chest pain. It's not going to hurt anymore, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> and then 0.4 nitro subling. Did you do everything? You did that for the saline and the nitrous? Not yet. Yeah, we got saline in. Saline is in. Yeah, but how much saline do you have in? How much you got in? A thousand milliliters. Why did they put saline in? You control. We got a whole bunch of 50. 25 milliliters of water. What are you going to do? I'm going to pop out. I'm going to pop out. I'm going to check up. I'm going to check up. Uh, uh, your patient is now unconscious. Okay. Your heart rate. Sign autocrine in the mouth. How about we put a take a breather? There you go. Hey, what's her BPC? All right. So, some of us are probably in the right knee rest. Do that. Is she gagging? Does she have a gag reflex? 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 Attached. Okay, you can stop CPR if I can stop for a second. It's going to close breaks on this. This for now, we'll start over in a second. All right, so um, you know what happened? You know what went wrong? Eh, I, eh, what I don't know for certain. Okay, well, you tell me what you think went wrong. Um, at first, I was kind of thinking cardiac asthma route, but not really. Okay. Um, so I was trying to treat the wheezing first, see if that would help everything. Right? Okay. And then with that still wheezing and chest pain. Uh, it's kind of took towards it's more of a heart issue. Um, blood pressure dropped. Uh, then when she went unconscious, I checked for a pulse, didn't feel anything, wasn't sure. So I took a couple of seconds to do that. And then so where do you think this train went off the trail off the tracks at? Probably the medication. Right. Route. Right. Because uh, you got the medic, you you you're giving her albuterol atrovent uh, with a pressure of 180 over 110. 
Yeah, her lung sounds were clear because um, wait, they're clear. Well, I'm sorry, she was wheezy, right? right. But you could you don't know you about yeah. cardiac asthma. 180 over 110 suggests to me that it definitely could be cardiac asthma. CHF, secondary, yeah, you know, cardiac asthma is just really bad CHF is what it is. All right, so um, you gave a beta, you know, beta one uh, enhancer here. So now she, her rate's gonna, her heart rate's gonna go up. Um, it's, it's not gonna be very, you know, very good for her. Then, if that is the case, let's say she is congestive heart failure, cardiac asthma, we gave her a thousand milliliters of normal saline. So if she's full, what do you think a thousand milliliters is going to do? Make it worse. Oh, yeah. Well, did, did a medical control say that? Yeah. They did. And so do you always do what medical control says or without questioning, I guess, because that would have been something I would have questioned. Hey, you want me to give a thousand milliliters of fluid to a patient who's fluid over? Is that right. correct? And then I, maybe there was confusion on there, right? Because, but we never questioned it. We never questioned that. Order. <coughs> and that's a problem. We have to question orders. That might, that might have been for another unit. Maybe they thought you were med 13 who called five minutes earlier for GI bleed. You know, so you have to question those orders. Um, when you walk in, you never got a general impression of your patient. He never said, hey, my name's Alden. I'm with the fire department. What's going on today? What do I see around me? Yeah, where are we at? We have a bedroom. We have a kitchen. We have a living room. Where are we at? What does the patient look like? You know, are they tripod? Are they slouch? I mean, you know, how do they look? Do I see anything around me? That sort of thing. You know, that you want to get a good general impression because otherwise we're in a classroom. You're not going to get one. You know what I mean? You're not yeah. ever going to get a good this. The dummy's never going to change, right? Yeah, so yeah with the tripod. The only, that's right, kind of right. The only that's the only thing you get, and we need more to solve this puzzle. Um, so let's get used to introducing who we are. Let's get used to uh, getting a good general impression, and let's get please, please, please do not start throwing dope at somebody until you have had time to do a complete assessment, come up with a field diagnosis. And then a field treatment plan. That's how it always should work, right? Unless something's weird going on. It should always be field diagnosis and field treatment plan. Okay. Um, that's me. So we're going to start over because right. that was even the scenario. I mean, that you were going to get, I don't think. I think that what they have for you is, is different. Really? Right. So. Yeah. Um, so what was like the clear indication of that? Well, the thing that I don't even know yet if it was cardiac asthma because I, I haven't talked to Suda uh, or them really a whole lot about their uh, scenario, but 180 over 110. So 180 systolic. What does the systolic blood pressure tell? What does that tell you? What, what part of what? It tells you about the left ventricles, health of the left ventricle, right? So at 180 systolic, do you think we have increased preload? Yeah. Most definitely, right? Exactly. Diastolic. Diastolic was 110. What does diastolic blood pressure tell you about? Right. Exactly. The size of the of your blood vessels. So at 110, that tells me those vessels are constricted. Right. And so if I have preload this increase, I have vessel. That, that are constricted, that's a pretty clear indicator that, you know, that my patient's in failure, could be in failure, right? And they're having difficulty breathing that adds to that. You know? And that's why I'd say, you know, there may be a uh, factor here that albuterol atrophy would have been the way to go, but we certainly don't throw albuterol atrophy before we get a complete set of vitals. It's just a, it's a bad thing. So I would, you know, I, I think that we always need to make sure we we have, you know, we have we have a huge responsibility, you know, um, huge responsibility before we because once we administer something, we can't get it back. It's not like uh, working on cars. 
if you put the wrong spark plug in, you could always unscrew it and maybe put another one in, right? And um, but with these, with our patients, if we, we push the wrong drug IV or we have a patient inhale the wrong drug without considering all the consequences, then then that's not good. And and the five, I want you know, the five R's. Is it the right patient? Is it the right time? Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. okay I, I thought I heard you say that. That's fine. Man. As long as we, we got to, because sometimes that'll help. Is this the right patient? Well, I'll be your all attribute. What's it indicated for? The bronchial dilator. Is it indicated for wheezing, right? Is it indicated for asthma, right? Um, it's something to think about, you know. Maybe you could, yeah, I don't know. And sometimes, I mean, if you, if it could have clicked, maybe it would have. Maybe we'll next time with blood pressure. Yeah, yeah, because we're getting, but there's some trouble with that. Didn't work. Well, they gave you 181. We didn't know. We told out people on before we even had a blood pressure. But once you did have a blood pressure, somebody, you got to think. I thought it was only if it was too low. Too low? Yeah. So let's just start over, okay? Problem of the 
All right, so whenever y'all are ready, let's get this thing going. Oh, yeah, probably do that. Thank you. 